Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12, playing on the one man, one mod mod pack with immersive engineering. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Today, you find me out here in the middle of a little adventure. Yep, I'm at a swamp. I'll show you what I've been gathering over here, but today's going to be an adventuring day. And I figured I'd get started before we. Uh, before we joined each other in this journey, we're going to head to a jungle. We're going to head to an ice plain spikes. We've got materials to collect all around the world. And I figure we'll just do that in today's episode. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are next to a swamp, and yeah, there, I've got a little little base, a forward operating base, if you will, right here, where I've got a bunch of torches, so I can't get surprised by anybody, but it doesn't ruin spawn rates over there. Why would I want to come to a swamp for spawn rates? Why would I be concerned about that? Because I need slime balls. So, I've been doing collecting. So, we've gotten a little bit, not tons and then other stuff here you may be wondering how in the world did you get all this well let's take a look at my sword yep i've got looting three sharpness five or no four not sharpness five unbreaking vorpal and mending vorpal right there that's from the cofh mod it's the same thing that gives us mending same mod that gives us not mending but felling on the axe and then uh yeah smelting's the other one and then insight which i don't have on any of these it doesn't really matter vorpal three Helps us get uh, uh, kind of like a, a beheading type thing. So skeleton skulls, creeper heads, and zombie heads, and wither skeleton skulls uh, if we're in the nether. So what I've got right here is I've got my bow, which is pretty good. I've got that in my offhand, so that actually does the action of shooting the bow. And then if I'm holding my sword at the same time, I get all the effects of the sword. So it's a pretty powerful combination. We get the power five flame punch two along with the sharpness five and vorpal and looting all, all in one whack, which is, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, the reason, another reason we're over here is to gather clay. We need lots of clay in immersive engineering. And so I figured let's just come over here and ransack the place. We got a lot already. Maybe I should stop. Yeah. Anyway, I've also got some dark oak wood. I mentioned last time that we were on an adventure that I'd forgotten to get dark oak saplings, but there we are. Anyway, anything else of note here before we go uh, off for the rest of our adventure? I've built up the rest of my armor here. We've got aqua finita respiration. We've got blast protection on the helmet, regular protection on the chest plate, projectile on the leggings, and fire protection there on the boots. And I've also got the render distance up just to show you how cool this is. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can go up a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. My computer can handle it to some extent, but not, not too much. Okay. So, so overall, there we go. That's the amplified territory. That's what we're doing over here. Ooh, Enderman. Let's see if we can get him over here. Yes, Yes, we can. And we've got another one over here. They are really loud. I'm going to have to handle this in post-processing. Oh, my. That was one shot on both of those. And my goodness, they are loud. Okay, well, that's kind of the name of the game. I'm working on Enderman and Slimes and Clay. And then, uh, you know what I'll do is I will bring you back if anything interesting happens along the way but I, I need to do a little bit more collecting here in the swamp and then we will head to the jungle back in a bit well ladies and gentlemen here we are back and not much interesting happened we did hit a full moon and i don't know what the full cycle is going to be here but uh it might still be full moon but anyway we got a bunch of slime balls in that last round so there we go it started raining towards the end of the night so i had to sleep it away and get rid of the full moon but there we go a bunch of slime balls and the thing we need that for is not so much the slime balls themselves but the slime blocks got a bunch of other stuff here i'm pretty excited about and all those ender pearls there which we will need for the ender dragon fight so we'll still have to get a few more uh 
into pearls, but uh, that's that's not too shabby. So over here, some ores, especially copper. Found a bunch in my various travels. And then right there, I think we're going to call it there for the clay. So it is time to head on to our next destination. And should I? No, we will probably hit some other islands elsewhere. So I'm going to leave a little forward operating base. I've got a, a waypoint for the swamp. We haven't cleared out all the clay, so just in case we need to come back, we can. But what I want to do now is head back towards home and then uh, come in from the north because there should be, should be, uh, fingers crossed, a jungle to come across there. And yep, so one of the things I told you at the beginning of this series is that I picked out this seed on purpose because of a number of the biomes that were around. One of those being the jungle and another being the packed ice biome. It is full moon. There might be more slime. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. let's go. Let's just go see. Let's go see. Okay. I do have a little hunting ground over here off to the east from where we were from our forward operating base. But let's just go. Uh, let's go over here and see. Of course, this is famous last words here. Usually when you do this, you just go for one more thing. You end up actually losing it all but we do have the gravestone mod here we can always come back and get our stuff in case the worst happens but let's just take a poke around and see what we can see so over here is a little bit extra of the swamp and since it's in the middle of the ocean there's not a lot of other spawning spaces around so we get we get a pretty good portion of the mob cap of course, there's caves and stuff underneath, but yeah, I'm not seeing too much. That's not quite the full moon, right? I guess that's the waning gibbous, right? Yeah, so I'm not seeing any slime. We there. Oh, there we go. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. And there's a baby zombie. I'll show you the trick that I've been doing. Okay, baby zombies come in. Two of them. My goodness. And he's got armor on. Okay, so we'll get that slime. And it'll especially be uh, important once we get the little guys showing up. Probably should get rid of those skeletons as well. So they don't cause us any trouble. And shots off. Okay, there we go. So we still get the looting effect. Uh, the Vorpal is not going to be so much of an issue right here because slimes don't have a skull object in the game. But but yeah, there we go. So let's just pick up all of the rest of our slime balls and we'll get the XP as well. Maybe fill up our, our shovel there because that's a mending shovel. I've put mending on most everything. Can't do it on the bow because we're in 1.12 I can't remember whether that was 1.11 or 1.12 that got rid of that but where you could put infinity and mending on the same bow but we are in that particular we're in one of those uh, versions of Minecraft where you can't do that so anyway there we go I think it is time now to head on back to towards our ranch oh and I see an Enderman. Yep, we're going to get the Enderman. All right, so uh, I will bring you back once I'm done playing with all the mobs over here. And, um, and we'll go from there. All right, back in a bit. All right, now we're actually headed back to home. Let's see what we got. We got five more Ender Pearls in that round. Not too shabby at all. And I do see that there's a slime back there. But we need to head on and continue our journey. Once we get to the jungle, we need to get some jungle saplings and we need to get some cocoa beans and we need to get some melon. So uh, that's it's kind of the whole thing. I, I would have brought some fish from the AFK Fisher to try and get some cats home, but it is a pain moving those across an ocean. I'll tell you that if you want to get a breeding pair, you've got to do you've got to do that trip multiple times. So I'm not too keen on that. We will just go for the vegetation matter and then we'll see if we can find maybe a jungle temple but who knows 
anyway i will it's going to be another uh, we got a thousand meter over what 1300 meters now till we get close to home and we should hit the jungle at some point along here but it may take us some time so i will bring you back once we get over to the jungle oh my wow <laughs> oh this is great look at that terrain well here we go we've got the jungle in sight what i want to do is take we got to take a screenshot while we're at it because i don't want to have to come back out here and get screenshots there we go all right so uh this is one of our objectives so it shouldn't take too long to go get what we need to get but let's see if we can just look around a little bit we will uh, we'll use our felling axe to to do what we need to do here there we go okay gets that we've got one jungle sapling it's probably not going to be enough let's do that how many more okay so we got a few more now probably just for grins and giggles we need to uh we need to replant because that's that's what we do right leave it as you found it or better i think that's a valid way to live in uh in life but i don't know if those are going to grow there that one should this one maybe i don't know how about over here let's uh let's grab this guy and do we get some more saplings? Yes, we did. Excellent. So we'll put that there and just hope against hope that it actually will grow. But I, I don't have high hopes for it. So we got a little bit of jungle wood. It's not really like we need that in particular, but I do, I would like the saplings. So, so there we go. And then over here, I see some I see some of the cocoa beans, so let's grab that. If we can get up there. And that's the other thing about Amplified. It's hard to get around. All right, let's do this. Jump, jump, jump. Lots of jumping. And yes, okay. So I think I'm above where I needed to be. Well, there's some cocoa beans up there. So let's do that. Right here, and it's starting to get darker in in the forest here let's see if we can find some melons some watermelons here and if we can awesome actually we're not going to leave until we do but it's going to be more of the same just jumping around and yeah i don't know i, I could bring you around for that but do you really like watching that i don't know uh let's see anything over there this is beach right here how about uh, what's the what's the actual jungle biome that we're in see with amplified it makes it all look like jungle hills but this is not jungle hills necessarily could be uh, let's do that and a little bit of some lighting around here okay so it's just regular jungle. That's cool. And do you see any watermelon? Just in case I could be missing it. Do you happen to see any around here? I'm not seeing any. Let's get a couple more things of cocoa here. There we go. And you know what? Just in case somebody else comes along, which I doubt because this is single player after all. But you never know. You never know. Uh, can we climb that? Yes. Yes, we can. Excellent. How about over here? Still no watermelon. Uh, it would be on the ground, I would bet. So let's just take a look around. But I think I need to leave for the moment and leave you to wait around and see if we find it. And I'll bring you back. Uh, if we find either a watermelon or a jungle temple. So, back in a bit. I told you I'd bring you back if I found a jungle temple or a watermelon. Still haven't found a watermelon, but I found a jungle temple. So, let us go in here. Uh, you know what? We'll just go in with the sword. Yeah. And there are parrots around, which is somewhat surprising. 
we're going to have lag. So we've got lag, major lag. I wonder why. It gets like this when I'm out exploring. So, so yeah, I guess i got to be careful there because we could end up with a lag-related death. And I really am not too keen on that. Yeah, this is not, not going so well. I don't know why. I think what I need to do is uh, turn down the render distance a bit. But, yeah, something is definitely down with my computer. So, uh, let's see if we can change up the render distance. Let's go here. I do know... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so 10 on the render distance is uh, is not so good. Not so good. And now how about, let's go in here and see if we can take on our, our guy. Okay. So that guy's down. And then let's do that. And then uh, all around here. And then down here. Okay, let's do that. And any more? Okay. Anything good? Diamond is good. And I'll take the bones. It's certainly good. And then let's go through here. I know you're not supposed to do this. But, and there's some sort of a trick. I've never learned that trick. I'll take the gold and the iron and the bones. Yep. Other. Oh, you know what? Piston too. Sticky pistons even? Yep. I'll take those. Uh, repeaters, all the redstone. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get all of that. And dispensers are good. Redstone's are good. Um, tripwires. Yeah. Let's just take all of it. Get it all. There we go. And definitely the dispensers. They are a pain to craft if you ever have to craft them. I don't know if we will need to craft them in immersive engineering, but you never know. So let's just do that. I really don't need the trip wires because I've got I got plenty of them from fishing. But we'll certainly grab the levers or did I run out of room? Ran out of room. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So so yeah, we've gotten uh, one of these jungle temples, which is cool. We still need to find some watermelon. So I will see you in just a little bit. Well, I um, I I thought I was recording when we got the watermelon, but uh, apparently I was not. So, yep, I found watermelon. It was over on the cliff over there, somewhere over that way. And then I've also had to switch this back down even further. Five chunks on the render distance. Yeah, once we get back home, it's not going to be so bad. But uh, for the time being, it is actually pretty bad. So, yeah, we're, we're, we've got major, major tick lag going. It's not frame rate lag, it is tick lag. So, that means the server, and that's the internal server on Minecraft. That's uh, just in case you didn't know, Minecraft does run a server uh, under the hood. So, even if you think you're only doing single player, yeah, you're still doing, it's still a server behind the scenes. And so, the server is struggling to keep up with uh, what all that I'm throwing at it through the terrain generation. So yeah, we'll get through it eventually. And then once we get back home, then things things shouldn't be as bad. Uh, let's just go and try and get away from him. Some of this may be related to a bunch of these overhangs here, dropping, dropping all of the, uh, what is it? sand and and gravel and stuff but here we go we're back at the ocean and i need to find my boat it is somewhere somewhere around here i don't know where but anyway i'm going to go find my boat and once we're back on the road or rather on uh, on our boating adventure we're in an alcove this is not where i want to be once we're back on our regular boating adventure i'll bring you back we're going to head to an ice plane spikes I need to get some packed ice. 
So I will see you in a little bit. Well, let's take a look at the haul so far. We've got, this is the natural materials box. I've had to split it out. We've got five of these now. And I've got 27 more. Brought half a stack of those storage crates with me, just in case you never know. More storage is better, right? And so there we go. And we've got plenty of industrial hemp seeds back at the ranch. But there we go. There's the melon and cocoa beans and jungle saplings, dark oak saplings. Okay, not too bad. And we've now got 19 ender pearls. So I think we're pretty well on our way for finding a stronghold. Over here, not much. Some ores. Got a little bit more bauxite. And then over here, yep, just uh, extra fun stuff you find in dungeons. But let's pack this up. And then I think I'm going to sleep the night away just so we don't get any rain. I really don't like the rain. And then we will get on our way. Home is that way. About a thousand blocks. And then somewhere that direction is supposed to be an ice plane. Spikes, yes, yes. I looked... I looked on a midst, so it's not nighttime yet. Yes, it is. It's close enough. Come on. All right. Anyway, we will be on our way very soon, and I'll bring you back if we find anything interesting on the ocean or if we get to the ice plane spikes. Back in a bit. All right. I wanted to bring you in so you could see this. It kind of popped up on my screen to start, and I missed the initial one bringing you back in, but here we go. Look at that. Coming into view, lovely, lovely packed ice. There we go. Okay, so, yep, um, I've got a Silk Touch pickaxe. And so we are going to grab a little bit of ice. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit of ice. But mostly we're here for the packed ice. So let me set down my storage crates here. And there. And let's see, where's this one going to go? I guess we could put it, could put it in there. A little bit of stuff in there. We don't need too much of the packed ice, but a little bit is going to help us in some future projects. And if you know immersive engineering, you may know which project we're going to be working on. But I've got to climb up here. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay, so here we go. We can grab our Silk Touch pickaxe and just go to town. Excellent. So we'll probably get maybe a stack, you think? A couple stacks and and then go from there. So, so yeah, let me start some more gathering and then uh, and we'll see what to get into next. All right, it is time yet again for some more. Uh, little little look at the hull that we took in so we've got I, I went a little bit overboard in fact we don't need that we need let's just put a piece of ice down yeah i only want a stack okay so we got a stack of regular ice and then i went and got four stacks of packed ice it's, it's so easy to get let's just chuck that in there okay and i got some snow because you know we could make a snowman right you want to build a snowman and then over here we've got i found a vein of copper that was pretty extensive and I just go nuts when I see it because it's it's kind of annoying to to get so there we go got some stone up there we can throw that in there sand diorite yeah anyway so that's not too shabby for our overall haul uh, what I need to do is grab all of these now and then we will make a breakpoint or not a breakpoint a waypoint and we'll say I've been programming today, so I've got breakpoints on the brain debugging. So ice planes, no, we'll just say packed ice. There we go. And do to do. There we go. That should be nice and visible. Yep. Okay. And then what we are going to do is set our sights towards home. And uh, once we get there, I've done a little bit of work around the base. So I should show you what we've got back in a bit. Well, here we are coming into home port. So, not too shabby. All right, let's uh, let's get this out here. And man, it is noisy right there. We need to do a little bit of work regarding those guys. And let's see if we can get our melon seeds out. Where are those? Bunch of clay. Okay. 
let's get this planted and I'm going to take over one of the pumpkin ones for that okay there we go and of course it's not going to be the most uh, what's the word um, efficient yeah it's not going to be the most efficient but uh, we can we'll certainly work on something that will help us in the future so so yeah there's there's ways of farming in immersive engineering that we will definitely partake of all right so that is fully grown and there we go all right now let's get all of these back up and i'm going to show you the changes that have been that i've done off camera you can see that i don't have my my uh, wood farm here or my log farm and then we've got uh no not, not many changes up top there but if we go in here you can see i've moved or, or i've gotten rid of all my storage crates some of those are with me and then i've moved my bed uh, we'll need to change our spawn point here soon oh something else i've been meaning to do with you on camera we've got some potions of water breathing here but i haven't pulled them at all from the brewing stand yet so here we go there we i've got the achievement now so i can share that with you okay so there's a little bit of a change here this goes down to our mines and a farm for nether wart right there but additionally it goes down this hallway here and it goes into a little cave that is accessible from the south no north coast that way and west coast that way right north no no, no. that's it yeah that's the north yeah west okay yeah there we go anyway i've brought in some grass and we're going to bring the sheep into here and then i'm going to take the cows up here we've got some scaffolding and this part you uh, there's going to be some major changes get ready for it get ready go in here and boom what do you think i hollowed out that entire hill yes so this is now a hollow hill who knew we could get that in immersive engineering yep so there we go uh, i will take care of putting away all of this stuff later but i just want to give you a, a quick quick tour of the changes i moved the nether portal down see that my spruce is not growing i bet what if we did that just do one for for now maybe the nether portal is interfering with it it's yeah, one two three yeah that might be causing issues who knows let's just put that I'm, i'll i'll worry about that at a later time we got our afk fisher there haven't been using that as much since we've got all mending and then we go up this scaffolding right here a little bit of storage actually most of the storage is down there we've got a little bit still remaining right here i need to clear out all of that creosote and cold coke and then we go up this way i've got just some precarious walkways all the way around that you're used to uh, that's the way we used to get in sort of and i told you it was precarious watch out the first step is a doozy okay let's see if we can make that a little bit uh nicer for potential guests uh, i'm not saying you know, i've been i've been uh kind of hinting at guests but we don't actually have any this is still single player so uh just in case for when uh, when i give out the world download later uh, just to make it kind of nice for you so we go up this way and we can go all the way to the top now and there we have it i did move the external heater up so i don't keep running into our coil and shocking myself but that's kind of the name of the game here instead of trying to make everything fit on top of the mountain i figured i would hollow out the mountain and make it all work in here and that's what we're going to be doing next episode hopefully you enjoyed this little adventure it's more vanilla type stuff but it's things that we needed to get done uh, because we're going to need these items uh, so if you, again if you can guess you probably can guess if you know about immersive engineering but we definitely need uh the diamond not so much but some of this other stuff we need and that packed ice is going to come in handy in the future but anyway that's going to be it for now hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you are up to date with 
everything else going on in the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.